Hey everyone, DJ Benji here, back once again with another DJ tutorial. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Got a question for you. Are you the kind of DJ that wants to take your DJ sets to another level? You could be missing this one thing. That one thing is DJ drops, okay, and custom samples. So a couple of weeks ago, somebody asked me on my comments, what scratch disc are you using for your samples? And... To be fair, it was one that I made myself. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And uh, it's really, really easy. All you're gonna need is a laptop or a computer. Now the thing is, this method that I'm showing you will work whether it's on turntables with Serato or um, an XDJ unit or any unit for that matter. So normally on Serato, you can use like the, um, the sampler, but let's say, if you're on an XDJ and you wanted to do it completely standalone, this is how you're gonna do it, right? So basically this is what we're gonna do. We are going to go first, I'm gonna show you an FL Studio, Ableton Live and Logic Pro because they're the most popular DAWs, but the methodology will work in anything, right? So first of all, start an empty project, right? So we've got nothing in it whatsoever. So the first thing that we need to do is go up to our tempo, which is this thing here, and change that to 133.33333 recurring. So what we're going to do is go to type in value and type in 133.33333. And you can see now that my tempo has changed. Right, let's move on to Ableton. How do we do that in Ableton? So we've got here at the top, so you go file new and it will create a new live set. And your, your set may look different to this. I've got my reverb um, already set up so when I'm producing it's easy for me to use these reverb sends so I use this template normally which I have got templates set up in FL Studio but I just go for blank on this one right so you just want to have an audio track loaded up and then just go here double click on that and go 133.33 Three, 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 three forever. And then it's going to basically put that in there. Right, so now we have our tempo locked in at 133.333. How do you do it in Logic? Go to Logic. See this here? That's your tempo. Double click there. 133.33333333. Easy, right? And then what you want to do is... Um, you want to grab some samples, right? So FL Studio, first of all. Now, the reason why we've done it at 133.33333 recurring, that's because one whole revolution on a Serato, on, on a deck, Technics 1210, is exactly 133.333, the revolution. So then basically each whole beat, if we put a sample down, then... Each time the record turns round, that will be a new sample. So um, let's go and find some sample. So you can do it from your finder window or you can go on here. This might take a little bit longer unless you've got your um, you got your file set up. But here's one I made earlier. This scratch sounds one. Hit it! Hit it, Maestro! So what we could do, if we wanted to, is just chuck this in here. But we'll, I know that this is 133. Where did it go? Let's just put that on, on there. So it's on there, right? So now if we zoom in, you can see that on these scratch sounds, they're all loaded up. But let's say we imported our own recording and we wanted to cut it up. We can use the blade tool to cut it up. And then we can rearrange the samples in any any way, shape or form. So we've got Get it! Hit it, Maestro! Fuck the fucking beats! <laughs> and then we've got some drum samples coming up, right? So you can do some finger drumming, right? Right, let's say we didn't want that. Let's say we wanted some sound effects. Say we wanted some reggae bleeps. We can search bleep and then it will give us loads of bleep sounds. There we go. Dave Spoon Bleep. 
that in there as the number one. We go audio tracks. And if we zoom in and then we go to C, we can um, choose our value to cut it here. Um, we can go none and then we can cut it pretty tight, right? Go to P for our pen tool, and then that will be there. And then let's say we wanted a, let's say we wanted that one as number two. We could put that in there. Audio tracks, and then um, we're going to change our step value to uh, beat. Put that there. And then basically, what you want to do is is populate. Let's get um, try Benji. But we had one more important sound we wanted you to hear. <laughs> Come on! That's Come on! Cool one. Well, you can get what I'm doing here, and then basically, I'm just moving this. If I move out a little bit. And then we're going to put that there. Now, on FL Studio, if you want to change the gain, you can just literally... And then all you're going to do is just eye them up, make sure that they're roughly the same. Or you can use the meters here. So if I go uh, song mode. Come on! This one here is a little bit louder. So we're just going to bring that down by like 2 dB. And then we can check it. Come on! You see they're all about the same, right? Anyway, so... And this is why it's best to just drag and drop stuff in from your your uh, finder window. Then you can just look. On bar one, we're going to go that long laugh is what we're going to have. Because that is the best sample ever, right? And then let's have a look on our finder. Let's go Benji. Original bad boy. Benji, Benji. Let's put that on. <laughs> Bad boy. Now, in Ableton, if you've got your warp settings turned on automatically, what you can do is actually click and turn off warp, and then it will just play the sounds at the original tempo. <laughs> I don't know, you might want it warped. Original bad boy. Benji, Benji, Benji. All right, here's a good uh, final jingle routine. What's this? DJ Benji. Right, let's say we wanted that in there, yeah? So we could pop that in there. Let's put that in at bar number six. Again, we don't want the warp on. We want warp off. But also what we need to do, we need to go in and we need to just make sure that if we right-click, our grid is not on snap to grid. So then we can just drag it over and make sure that bar line is roughly on the beginning of the sample right and then we can just basically get rid of all of that nonsense right so you can see what I'm doing right and then basically I've only done three here but then you can just put as many samples as you want. Let's go to Logic now so we can show you how to do it in Logic. Exactly the same process. Just go here. Stick that DJ Benji Wav in there to make sure that that's the same. You're going to zoom in. I'm just using my mouse wheel and the option key to zoom in on Logic. And what we don't want is this crap at the beginning. So we actually want to get rid of of all of that right up to there and if you want to change your snap on logic just make sure you got it on smart because that's the best one and then we're just going to go there so now when we play this DJ that's it right uh if you want to change the gain if you want to make it a little bit louder DJ then, because it's minus 9.6 at the moment, if you want to make it a little bit louder, just double click and then we can just make the gain a little bit louder. So if we put it up to 9, or you can just basically go in here and just go 9. A bit loud. If you hold shift and space. DJ Bounty. 
DJ Bounty, DJ, DJ Bounty. It will play the selected um, audio file that you have clipped, which is quite a cool little Logic Pro tip. I really like Logic Pro, it's my favourite. Um, what else can we put in? What's that? Put that one in and put that in at bar two. Oh, we'll create a new stereo track just for continuity purposes. As you can see, that's all pretty loud, right? DJ Bounty. DJ Bounty. And yeah, if I wanted to bring that one down, because that's 0 0.2, I could bring that down. You want to go minus 0.4. You can see it's coming out 0 0.6 now. So this one is coming out 0.6. DJ Bounty. That's coming out 0 0.6, perfect. And then what you want is all of your samples to come out at 0 0.6. Uh, let's get another one. Let's get an R sample. DJ. And you can do exactly the same in all the others. Like, you know, if you wanted to change the gain in any of them, you can just put it up like this. That will make it louder. If you wanted this one to be louder or quieter, you can just do it there. And then, you know, if you wanted the long laugh to be louder or quieter. So there we go. So then what you could do once you've done that, just go file, export audio, and then just name it what you want. And then just save it as whatever you want. And then that will come out, right? File and then export. What I'll do is I will do a WAV file for this one. And then I will chuck it on the desktop. And then we're going to go file, export, or bounce, uh, project or selection. We'll do it in an MP3. It doesn't really matter. So basically now what we're going to do is go to our desktop. And then what we'll do is we'll test the Ableton one. So now what we've got is we've got our Serato on, right? So just to give you, I've made cue points. But let's say if I put it on that 12 o'clock position you can see that the first sample will play and see every time it goes past that 12 o'clock position a new sample will play which is cool right we go to our folder and let's go to just to test logic we can go there and we can open this up load it onto deck one so now if we create a cue point here, we'll zoom in first. We put that one on. This one is a bit quiet, isn't it? But now you can see I've set my cue points up. So how would you use this on an XDJAZ? So my recommendation, my recommendation for you guys is to play your music on channel one and two, and then have your drops on, if we go back, if we add that one on say channel three, right? When we select channel three, Oh. If we go back to our channel one and we can put our music on there and then look, so we've got our, oh, I love it how it's on save loop, right? And then we can go. Do you get me? So we can basically do our music on channel one and two. So we can do our mixing and then we can have our DJ drops and perhaps some samples on number four. So you might have your air, heart, um, uh, your air horn sample like 
you're listening to the greatest DJ in the world and whatever you want to do. So that's you. That's completely down to you how you want to do it. You can make it as creative as you possibly like and it's going to be really, really fun. Um, you just need to remember that obviously those things are going to be on channel three and channel four. Uh, the good thing about it is as well, you can even add effects. So let's say we wanted to put that and we wanted to put a little echo on it. We can actually do. And you can use any of the effects that are on here. So if you wanted to use like a big reverb. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is how you make your own custom samples for your DJ drops or a scratch record that you can use either on your XDJAZ or turntables in Serato or Rekordbox or any DJ software for that matter. And then that way, every time the record goes round, your sample will always be at that 12 o'clock position. And as you can see on the XDJ, it's doing exactly the same thing, right? So if we get the earlier one, it's the one that we made earlier, the Benji scratch sentence, which is the one I used in the video, but it's not actually the 12 o'clock position on the XDJ AZ because we've got it slightly off, maybe at the one o'clock position, but every time it passes the cue point, a new sample is there. Got it? Easy peasy, yeah. I hope you like my video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much. Hope you all have a wicked, wicked day and keep practicing. Hope you have fun with your DJ decks and I will see you next time. Peace out. Thank you very much. DJ Benji.